contemplate the workings of the inner being. Your eyes are wide open, but are you really seeing? And welcome back. And welcome back. This is Cole. My name is Ta. This is Ta Ta Cole, Cole, and you're listening to Mentor Mentor in in the the Mirror Mirror Podcast. And you may have noticed that the episodes have slowed down, and that's because we're not continuing seven podcast a week. <laughs> no, nah, man, that was just a bit much. Uh, we are scaling back and more of me and you together. Um, you know, it's been awesome to have guests and stuff, but, you know, uh, the dialogue that we've been having, you know, how, how this po- podcast has uh, progressed has been awesome. I like the back and forth dialogue that we have, the, the conversations. So I'm glad to be back in it and we'll bring guests on occasionally, but Right now. (laughs) And not every day. That was all in response to big changes, steps people could make, things to consider, you know, things to inspire. And now it's about taking action and the consideration of what you're doing right now and how that is going to create or destroy your momentum. And when we talk about momentum, we're talking about that creation, that connection to yourself, to other people, and to your health. And a lot of what we are seeing as people pivot their business to fulfill a need or to serve their clients, their customers, is if they don't bring some conscious, or we're inviting or we're reminding people, you've got to have conscious awareness of where you're operating from, where you are in your nervous system, and what what are your check-ins? What are your, you know, what's your framework around it? Yeah, that framework is super duper important and and getting yourself to a space where you allow yourself to toggle back and forth between activated and relaxed is super, super important, particularly right now as we come off of, we, uh, we move into the peak time of this uh, this respiratory virus that's that's swinging around. We're peaking, the, the maximum amount of illnesses is coming in and it's going to start to taper off. And as things taper off and they start to release quarantine and release all of this stuff, everybody's business is going to start pivoting. So there are a lot of entrepreneurs that are that we work with that are starting to swing into this space of high activation right now. And they haven't prepared their bodies for for uh you know, for, for the onslaught. And so you've got to be able to get yourself into a place where you can be activated and then toggle down into a relaxation space. And if you don't do that, you're headed for a tremendous crash. We see it all the time. We've seen it for, for, uh, the entire time we've been in business and before, and it's going to happen again. So we're, we're recommending to all people that they learn how to toggle back and forth between the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system so that you can have the, the maximum resilience in your life. You know, like you were saying, a lot of people we've worked with have been through this before. They've been through financial recessions. They've also been through health recessions where everything came to a screeching halt. And when their health came to a screeching halt or a crash, so did their finance, so did their business, so did their relationships. I mean, everything came tumbling down. And if if a person is not mindful in this current space then three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, it's going to hit another health crash, which is going to in turn require that the person then stop their business and integrate with their wealth that they just accumulated to get back on track. And one of the, one of the best things that you, and I don't say best often, but one of the best things that you can do right now is start to develop that life team and people around you. What is your plan? Who checks in with you? Do you have someone that is like the spock of information to ensure like, hey, have you gotten any body work? Hey, have you gone and sat in the spa? Hey, like what are, what are you doing to downregulate your nervous system so that you don't stay in a sympathetic response until your health crashes? And Mr. Spock knows all about, you know, being super chill, being super chill and logical. And uh, so it's it's really important to make sure that you have that on your team, someone who can actually help you swing back around to what you need to be doing instead of just being activated all the time. You need to have some kind of logic that kind of brings you back into the space where you can actually chill. Yeah, I think that uh, knowing what your sleep is right now, whether it's an aura ring or a bio strap or some markers so that you know where your heart rate variability is at, you know what your REM sleep is at, because you'll show markers of stress long before they're showing up in your physiology in the way of 
you know, headaches, stomach issues, or whatever. So as we step into this new phase, if you need help, if you're looking for some guidance, if you're looking for support, this is what we have pivoted to. We are here to help people create their life team plan and to understand what their body is communicating when it's communicating it so that they can stay in that creative uh, connection, momentum, and fulfill this amazing opportunity to pivot their business, to show up with a tremendous amount of purpose and not end up crashing, getting across the finish line of this current shutdown. Um, Because that's, we've, again, we've seen it. And as we project the possibilities of climbing out of this financial hole or this economic hole, don't crawl yourself into another cavernous, uh, physical containment situation. Yeah, and yeah, I agree with all of the above or all of the prior, previous, beforehand that you just said. That pivot of your business also requires a pivot of your body and how you treat yourself. It is super duper, super duper, super duper pertinent, important that you allow your body to pivot with your business. If you're doing the same old things that you were doing before and you have new business paradigms and you don't shift your body, something's going to happen. Either your body's going to crash, your relationship's going to crash, your interaction with your business can crash, so then your business will suffer. All of these things are very important as entrepreneurs and as people moving forward in this world and in this life. We've got to really understand that the separation between your life as a person and your business Uh, you've got to kind of blur those lines and start to see that these things have to activate together. If they don't activate together and they don't actually also rest and relax together, there can be problems. So you've got to really learn to integrate your body into all of your processes of business, integrate your body into all of your processes of relationship, integrate your body into all processes of your fun, of your sexuality, of your family life, all of it with your kids, with your homies, whatever it is, you've got to integrate your body into all of these things or a crash will be imminent. I, you know, I, I've practiced, uh, you know, nursing for a long time and I've seen people crash over and over again. I've seen my colleagues crash over and over again. I crashed multiple times. This is a paradigm that we've built into our society. And it's really time for us, if we're going to be moving forward and waking up as a human race, as a race of entrepreneurs, as a race of people who are doing things differently than we used to, we've really got to see the role that body has in in this this whole paradigm. It's got to become a non-negotiable, this self-care thing. As I've checked in with people, because we can tell, right? We can tell in photos, we can tell in video, we can tell from talking to someone when their voice shifts, they're not taking care of themselves or the inflammation in their face or the redness from an autoimmune response, we can see it. And when I check in with people, they're like, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing what I can. It's not going to cut it. In this new paradigm shift, in this new evolution of humanity, it's going to require an integration with the body's natural processes and removing the compartmentalization. You know, it's one thing to focus on one area so that you can get it to grow. And then it's important to integrate the parts together so that it is no longer compartmentalized, to make it a total optimal functioning human organism where then you're just making adjustments. The thing is, people are developing their business or going hardcore into the financial health and they are abandoning the physical health. And that that uh, old structure is not going to work now, just like other structures are not going to make it through this. The people that go back to the old ways of being are going to hit another crash. If you build an amusement park and you build a roller coaster, right, and there are these huge hex things on it that that uh, these bolts these hex bolts and you put them in the first time and the roller coaster is going up and down up and down up and down and hitting the curves and the whole structure is rocking all of those bolts will eventually start to loosen up and if you don't send somebody in there with a big wrench to tighten those up and to do maintenance and to check in on that stuff and make sure that this thing is resilient it's going to end up falling apart people are going to end up dying something's going to crash your body is similar to a roller coaster in that there are always twists and turns, ups and downs. You've got to be able to get in there with that wrench and, and adjust things. Or have and, and, someone that's your maintenance person. Right. And then also be able to, you know, have somebody come in there with a leveler to see if the ground has actually shifted. So because if the ground has shifted, then the tracks and 
everything else may need to be adjusted as well with the roller coaster. You've got to become, you got to make that thing resilient so that it does not fall apart, so that it stays supported, so that the people on it stay safe and that you can keep delivering that wild ride to people without this thing falling apart. Yeah. And I, you know, I love a good, a good representation, a good symbol. And anyone that's looking to, same in a car race, right? And, and we've got a lot of friends here that love to race cars. The brake is as important as the gas when it comes to winning a race. And it's not that life is about winning, but you, when you have these goals that you're looking to attain, that you're looking to meet, exceed, or otherwise, you have got to know when to brake so that as you come around turns, you're not slamming up into the fence or into the wall. Because that, that if we don't pause now to come up with this system, and I know a lot's going on, and I know the, the excitement around the energy, it is more important now than, than ever. If you're going to come out on the other side of this epidemic, pandemic, so that a year from now, you're still going, you, like this is a non-negotiable element for you and your team. If you have a team of people and you haven't sat down to discuss where they are in their self-care practices, what, how you can check in with them or as a team, you can check in with each other, then that's like blowing out a tire on the last, you know, on that last uh, turn. Like you've got to know not only where you are, but where your team is. And your team has bodies, I, I would hope, unless they're androids or robots. Um, and they still probably have some sort of body. Well, and they still need maintenance, they right? Still, yeah. <laughs> and so these people's bodies need to be taken care of. If you're not checking in, if you're if your people have telltale signs of of uh, hypervigilance and, and ridiculous stress overload, and you're not checking in with them, your business is going to suffer. And it's, it's and and it's always something down the road, man. I don't know what happened. What happened? You know, Bill down in the. Uh, in floor two of the corporation who had the, these tasks to do, he was overwhelmed and it caused, it didn't, it, get, done. It didn't get done and didn't everything and everything got jacked up. So being able to tune into that, tune into people's bodies, see if they're being honest, what's going on with them, check in with them. How's your family life? Do you need time off? Do you need space? Yep. What is it that you need? If somebody having a day or two off so that they can have some space and, and recalibrate is going to, is going to save you 500 G's then give that person two days off. Well, uh, and with, it's going to it's gonna impact their decision making. Give them two days off with pay and, yeah. and check in on them and see what's going on because that that can be the, the, the wrench in the works, man, that, that shuts your whole shit down. And it's the same thing with your family life. You know, check in with your family. If you are going home, right, if you're working, you, you got your business going on, home office, whatever it is, and you go in to deal with your family and everything is jacked up, Guess what? That's going to translate into your business, into how you do things. So you've got to see how, you know, how you can bring in a team of people. And that can be your family. It can be your friends. It can be people that you hire, your practitioners, whatever, and bring them in with, with complete openness, vulnerability, and honesty so that you can have that intricate, intimate connection with these people so that your business has an intricate, intimate connection and all parts of it know what's going on so that it flows with the utmost of ease. Yeah. The difference of the people that are really going to get this are the ones that realize that their teams are whole organisms. And if you're only stimulating their mind, you're only checking in with their mind and you don't know what's going on with their home life, with their kids, with their parents. Are they secretly afraid because their parents been sick, but there hasn't been a space for you to check in because you're so busy in creation mode and execution mode that you don't know what's going on. Everyone is well aware that when you make decisions from a reactive place, it's going to be destructive. It's not going to to be for the betterment of the team or the sustainability of the team. It's going to be just enough to not end up on fire maybe. Um, But that doesn't mean it's not going to cause some serious slowing down and even potential destruction of, of the vehicle of where you're going. And that starts with the individual organism, then the team as an organism, then the company as an organism, and then the purpose. And I think that a lot of people are failing to take that into account and they're starting in the reverse, right? What is the corporation, the health of the corporation first? And that is the old 
paradigm. That is the old way of functioning that got us to where we are right now. And so let's move forward with a new realm of functioning. And we're going to be bringing you more about this type of functioning and this type of behavior as we get people to move from that Puma energy into that Condor energy. So take a minute and slide in front of the mirror and, and ask yourself, you know, am I pivoting with my business? Am I pivoting with my family? Am I pivoting? Is my body pivoting with all this stuff? And if it's not, if it doesn't resonate in the mirror, ask yourself, what do I need to do? Who, do, who can I bring in on this? Who can I be honest with? And am I being honest with myself? And when you have those answers, write them down and get some assistance with that. And if you need help, reach out to us. You know, we're all about optimization. And if you want to find out how how it looks for you on that uh, on that on that plane, if, if you're in the snake energy, the puma energy or the condor energy, you're going to text optimize to 222 I'm sorry, 22999. You're going to text optimize. With a Z. With a Z. O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E, right? Optimize uh, to 22999. And take that take that quiz and see, and see what's up. And if you need some help with that, let us know. We're around. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all the good places. Uh, we know you love this. So please rate, review, subscribe, share, share with, with a, a friend, friend, tag us someplace. And remember, as always, we are here for you and with you. My name is Sa. My name is Cole. This is Mentor in the Mirror. Be free. free.